What's up YouTube, this is Osiris and we're going to look at today the AMD Catalyst 14.9 drivers which AMD just released. If you're an AMD user or you know about AMD Linux drivers then you know that there is a, a problem with stuttering and low performance on their uh, driver stack so I downloaded it, I took a look at it um, and used my R9290X and went through uh, a few benchmarks. I used Counter-Strike Go, I looked at Metro Last Light, Mountain Blade Warband, Team Fortress 2, Unigen Heaven, and Unigen Valley. So we'll start with Counter-Strike Go. Uh, now, Counter-Strike Go with the previous 14.6 drivers had some very bad stuttering problems and low performance. With the 14.9 drivers, uh, the stuttering all but went away. It's pretty. The stuttering is almost non-existent, if existent at all. Of course, that's going to depend on your system, on your, which card you have, and all that good stuff. If you take a look at this comparison, you can see that there's still a huge disparity between the Linux and the Windows drivers in terms of performance. Um, you have about 197, almost 200 frames per second on the Windows drivers and then you have about 85 frames per second on the Linux drivers now keep in mind that I have a 290X which is uh, AMD's high-end card so if you have anything else below that your mileage may vary in uh, playability as far as keeping it above 60 frames per second uh, but of course 85 frames per second is still very playable with the 290X it's just not 200 frames per second now we look at Metro Last Light Metro Last Light was not even playable on Linux. I decided not to run the benchmarks in Metro Last Light because in Linux the game stops creating any lighted objects. After the menus are invisible and you are unable to clean exit the game. Uh, and if you look at these screenshots, this is the way the game is supposed to look. The game loads up fine but with some sluggish controls but it, and it feels like it wants to crash. And then if you look at this screenshot, uh, number two, after less than two minutes of real time, anything that was lighted or had light, lighted reflection goes dark. Notice that the text is also dark at the bottom of the screen. In this, in this scene, you are supposed to be in a lighted tunnel. So I couldn't test Metro Last Light. There's just nothing to test. On the Mountain, uh, Mountain Blade Warband, I ran it in Windows. 8.1 then I tried to run it in Linux but uh, found out that I don't have a FPS counter and I did not feel like figuring out how to get an FPS counter to work <laughs> so we did not do Mountain Blade Warband now we look at Team Fortress 2 and if you look at Team Fortress 2 once again there's a huge disparity between the Linux and the Windows drivers you still have playable frame rates, at least with a 290X. The stuttering is much better on uh, these new 14.9 drivers. If stuttering was a major issue for you. You might want to really check out the 14.9 drivers. Pharonix also is showing that AMD drivers have very low performance. It's 71 frames per second on Windows and 61 frames per second on uh, Linux. Now to the Heaven benchmark. Uh, if you take a look at the screen, these are the settings that I use in case you want to replicate these settings and do them for yourself. For the Linuxes, I got 39.3 frames per second. 990 score, 7.8 minimum frames per second and a maximum of 100 frames per second. And for Windows, I got 40 frames per second with a score of 1010 and a minimum of 7.8 frames per second with a maximum of 104.9 frames per second. On Linux, the video was very choppy and would result in very poor experience if this was actually a game. The video was visibly choppy and not very uh, enjoyable to look at. Now, on to the Valley benchmarks. On Linux, I got 39.8 frames per second with a score of 1,665, a minimum frames per second of 23.7 and a maximum of 61.1 frames per second. For Windows, I got 51 frames per second with a score of 2,164, minimum frames per second of 24.2, and a maximum of 99.9. .9. So the differences between Linux and Windows was uh, much more noticeable when using the Valley Benchmark. On Valley Benchmark, there, there was no stuttering at all. And visually, if I didn't see the, the benchmarks, you could almost not tell the difference between the Windows and the Linux version. For some reason, one 
performed lower but looked better and the other one performed higher but looked much worse to go over my system specs i have an intel core i5 3570k uh currently at the 3.4 stock gigahertz um just using a cooler master hyper 212 to cool it my my graphics card is an asus republic of gamers matrix platinum 290x i'm using the asrock z77 extreme 4 8 gigabytes of crucial ballistics memory uh, XFX Pro 650 watt core edition for my power supply and I'm using the Fractal Designs Define R4 for a case. Uh, what I didn't include but I recently played in Linux was Borderlands 2 and that game would start out stuttering but then would eventually clear itself up so even that was playable. Now, all in all the 14.9 drivers are definitely an improvement over the previous 14.6 drivers and definitely worth you going to download and install on your Linux machine uh, if you're having any of the issues that I was having with the 290, I mean with the AMD GPUs. If you like this type of content, hit that subscribe button to see more of it. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you do like it, hit the like button. And of course, if you got questions, comments, rants, raves, and you just want to bitch, moan, cry, and complain, go to the comment section and do your thing. This is Osiris, and I'm out.